Hello, I'm JW, and today a short video which is really to do with bathrooms and uh, whether a certain switch on the wall is actually compliant. Now we've got here a bit of video which uh, somebody actually sent in, and this was taken in Australia, and it's in a bathroom, or it's actually a shower room, and we'll have a look at the uh, video in a moment, but basically it's got a light switch on the wall, and it's actually rather close to the shower enclosure. Now of course the regulations in Australia are rather different to they are in the UK, but uh, nevertheless, let's just have a look at the video first and uh, see what sort of thing we're actually dealing with. So essentially we've got a light switch here, which is again right up against the panel of that uh, glass enclosure there. Really couldn't be any closer. And obviously it does a extractor as well there. And the shower itself, as you see, is there is a fixed outlet, so not one with a sort of removable hose or whatever. And so there's the shower right there. Now, of course, regulations in Australia are different to those in the UK, but I found these two diagrams here, which uh, do apply to this situation. And I've got this first one here, which I show there's just a fixed shower outlet, and then it has a barrier sort of adjacent to that. And this has got various zones marked, so zone 1, 2 and 3. And if you consider the uh, switch in this case would definitely be in that zone 2, because that side panel, although there's no measurement given, it's obviously considerably less than 60 centimetres. It's probably that the whole shower tray is only about that kind of width. So on that diagram, the switch is definitely going to be in zone 2. And then the other diagram is this one, which is similar, although this is sort of an enclosure with a sort of sliding door arrangement. But it's basically the same deal, it's got a sort of radius of uh, 60 centimetres from the edge of the fixed part. And again, that's that zone 2 as shown there. So, once again, it's going to be in the zone 2 regardless of uh, whichever diagram that we're going with. Now, for comparison, this is the UK version, and it's uh, pretty similar. Again, that would be a shower with a fixed partition, or part of it next to it. And again, it's pretty much the same deal, it's that uh, 60 centimetre deal. The only difference here really is that it's 60 centimetres minus the thickness of the partition, as we saw in that particular video, it's only a very thin piece of glass, so probably for four millimetres or something. So once again, it's going to be in the zone two. Now, if that switch was in the UK and it was in zone two, then it would not be permitted because you're not actually allowed to have any switches in zone two, or in fact zone one or zero either. So if that was in a UK bathroom, then that would not be compliant. However, the deal in Australia is somewhat different. And we can see here that uh, in zone two, no switches are permitted unless they're installed higher than 0.3 metres above the bathroom floor, and they also comply with IPX4, which essentially covers resistance to splashing of water. Now clearly that switch is well above 0.3 metres from the floor. Now whether it complies with IPX4 is another matter, but being in mind it is only resistant to splashing of water, then given the fact that it's fairly well sealed on the front and whatever, then it probably does. And also the other thing is that in Australia you're not allowed to do DIY electrical work, so that would have been installed by a professional contractor. So uh, it seems likely that that would actually comply. But uh, another thing here that's quite surprising is that uh, you're also allowed to have the same switch in zone 1, which would actually be inside the shower enclosure with the shower. Now that does not seem a particularly good idea because obviously in a shower area you're going to get rather more than just splashing of water, but nevertheless that is apparently what the uh, regulations state. So uh, the deal then is that that switch is compliant in Australia, but in the UK it would not be, simply because the uh, regulations are different. So that's it for this time, and until next time, thanks for watching.